Revelation 2444, from the 9th of August 1942. Failure to recognize injustice. Standing up for justice. The blindness of people goes so far that they are no longer able to distinguish where right ends and injustice begins. Every person judges according to his own feelings, and these feelings correspond to his way of life, his inner disposition and his attitude towards God and the world. One is the consequence of the other, it is the life of man that determines how he judges the actions of his fellow man and consequently injustice is no longer recognized and detested as such but it is tolerated and approved of, for humanity no longer lives in accordance with divine will but walks its path far away from God's commandments, from the commandments of love. But if it is pointed out to fulfill God's commandments, even this indication is regarded as injustice, whereas the human being can practice open injustice without disapproval of his fellow human beings, and those are condemned and publicly denounced. And this is the wrong thinking of men, the deviation from the right path. But the right thinking person will no longer be able to defend his right, he will have to bow down as soon as he fears earthly violence. And yet he should not allow himself to be distracted, he should do and speak what his heart commands him to do, he should know that if he fights for law and justice he is standing up for God, who himself is the most just being and also demands the same from people. He should know that his silence is equal to tolerating injustice, that he must speak if he can thereby prevent injustice. He must also not be deterred by the threats of the world where it is necessary to protect the souls of fellow human beings from error, or false teachings. For these again result in countless wrong or unjust actions. Right is everything that a person can justify before God, or what his conscience allows him to do with the strictest self-criticism. But whoever recognizes God himself as the judge of his actions and thoughts will also be guided by the voice of conscience, which God has placed in the heart of every human being as an admonisher and warner. Amen.